hello welcome to my channel now i'm starting off with my brow and i'm just taking a dark brown pencil and i'm drawing my brows and then i'm going to go ahead and use a spoolie to blend it out so that it could look more natural after that i'm just going to clean it up with my nyx concealer in the color nutmeg which is my favorite favorite concealer of all time So I'm using an angled brush to just blend it out a bit and I'm going to follow with a damp beauty sponge to give it a very seamless finish. Now I'm just priming with my HGS and Rouge HD Matte Veil. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. But it's very watery but I, I like it. I think it does a good job. Spot correcting now with my Maybelline concealer in the shade Coco and this is very close to my skin and I'm just putting it on the really dark spots that I have. So I'm also using this to prime my lids and then I'm going to go ahead and blend it out. So for my transition color, I'm using a dark brown matte eyeshadow from Almay and I'm just putting that in my transition area. I'm using my Douche Prematic Eyeshadow Duo. I'm pretty sure I don't know how to pronounce this either. And it comes with two and I'm just using the shade Kate as my eyelid color. For my outer crease area, I'm using my L'Oreal's eyeshadow duo in Wicked that I have. It's a purple color. Guys, this product has been discontinued for ages. I don't know why I'm still using it. But I'm pretty sure this might be the last one that they have out there. But I like it, so I'm going to use it. So starting my face now and I'm just going to go over the areas that I spot corrected earlier with a damp beauty sponge to blend it out before applying my foundation. So I'm applying my NYX Day Matte Foundation in Coco and I'm using a damp beauty sponge to apply this. Guys, I was really running late which is why I'm kind of pressing too hard on the beauty sponge so it took up more product than I actually wanted it to but yeah I was running late guys so now I'm highlighting with my NYX concealer in nutmeg as always and I'm just blending it out a bit So I also decided to add some highlight to the area that would be below my contour. So this is reverse contouring, I don't know what they call it, but I, I decided to do that first. So I was just checking the time guys because I was really, really late at that point in time. So dusting away the excess and then I'm going to go ahead and contour with my Ben Nye powder in Americano. Yeah, I'm using this very lightly guys. So I'm using the same powder to give my nose a really snatched look. Yeah, and I'm going to use my X1 mineral powder all over my face to finish it. Especially focusing on the areas that I did not set or contour. Then setting everything with my Barry M setting spray and highlighting with my Morphe highlighter in Spark. Now I'm just adding some eyeshadow to my lower lash line. So the same colors that I used. So 
doing my window with my Ico ID liquid liner in black. So I ended up using my elf lip gloss in sparkling rose and now I'm just heading to the kimono event. So guys, I'm here and we're about to start around the kimonos. So yeah, I'm excited. Couldn't record when I was putting on the kimono but it legit took 40 minutes, no joke. Just putting on the kimono. So interesting. Hey, yeah. This is the first stop. A waterfall. So because it's raining. Guys, know I'm walking the bridge. So there's the river. Like I said, guys, it's raining, and I'm cold, but I am liking this look. So this is the bridge. Yeah. So I just came from the temple. Was it no? From the waterfall. So this is the bridge. It's a little hard. So going down, this is very hard. thanks for coming to my channel i hope you like share and comment and please subscribe if you haven't done so and see you in my next video